Good morning. I smell cheap beer and pollution. That means we must be at the Meadowlands flea market. And um, it was supposed to be a mild day. Eventually it will be. Um, right now it's 37 and windy, so I really should have wore a jacket, but I'm not the smartest person out there. People are just starting to set up, so we're part of the early bird crew and uh, hoping to find some treasures. I had like 10,000 of these things. And a blockbuster stand. I pretty much gave them all away. Now they make a comeback. It's kind of neat. Copper. I haven't really seen too much of the, uh, I've not seen too much vintage, but. Okay, check, check. I save it. I do like the box. Mm. Wait. That is cool. I might be coming home. I don't know what I'd use it for, but I'm gonna clean it up and uh, flip it. But he just found these things. I don't know why, it just brings me back. The McVote. How much? Only one? For four. Give me ten dollars, Ten dollars? I like it. Give me that. It's like upside down. Yeah, that's a weird one. Yeah, hey, I found some cast iron at least. Oh, you did? Yeah, right here. Oh, that's like a bank. Yeah. That's me. I actually have one of these I cleaned up and people love looking at it but they don't love buying it. That's a weird one. It's like a chat I was a chalice. It's the grail. It's aluminum. It's the grail, okay? Grail of chalice. More license plates. Not quite vintage. Although 79 is considered vintage these days, so that's funny. There we go, there's some old dogs. Wow. Some of them are in pretty bad shape, but most of them are pretty good. Very cool. Journey, love it. It's an interesting item, I'll tell you that. It's a wood front. It doesn't say who made it. That's just, it's fun. But it's kind of beat out. It's really good. Definitely seen a couple cool things. But, not too much of my vintage swag that I'm looking for but a lot of these people are like uh, house clean out companies and you got to dig through all the stuff the good and the bad to find anything hmm. but I mean you're gonna drop like 20 30 40 bucks for old computers that's me. That's why I try to find people who take out the hard drives. I have this like universal reader. Wow, this could be some serious This is That's just that. Yeah, I know. I love those big, even if they're not iron. Look at that. Wow. Ten bucks. I don't know if I would use it, but I love that thing. Thankfully, my kids aren't with me. 
They would, they would love that, and that's that's a toy I wouldn't want to even play with. I know. Yeah, iced coffee. I would want to display it. Twenty bucks, fifteen bucks, fifteen bucks. Man, five bucks on the job. Cheap Michigan rummy. I used to play that with my grandma. Good, good memories. Man, I just had to stop and check this out. <laughs> Still operational. A nice cast iron base. That looks like a fun project that will sit in my garage for six months. Doesn't look like there's any cracks. But come on, that would be an awesome project. Yay or nay? Speak to me, people. If you see this at the end of the video, you know I'm in a lot of trouble. Still on the hunt for my stuff. Waffle maker. Empty. That's doing us no good. Old amplifiers. We went through our phase where we uh, had these in our cars. That is. Tell me that's not cool. Polaroid 250 LAN camera. Damn. That is cool. Original Nintendo N64 classics, but $75 with no guarantee it works. That's tough. Yeah, and look at this. My gosh, Donkey Kong. The kid that lived behind you, Chris, had this. He had the ColecoVision with like 10 games. Yeah. And we didn't even like like him too much. And we still would be like, hey man, can we go play? What game like, is this? You're awful. I don't know what game that is. Look at that. Oh. Mr. Do. This is one of the games he had. Classic Donkey Kong. See, these are That's awesome, man. I like it. I want it. Didn't have you. Statues. Incense burners. Oh, I remember having one of those. Slightly annoying for my parents, I'm sure. That is cool. So look at this. Oh, oh handcuffs? Oh, yeah. The the keys in it? on your belt. No keys? I don't know. That's funny. That is neat though. Yeah. What do you get for the handcuffs sir? Wait a minute. That is neat. Lucky you, right? Yeah. Just random. I love looking at display cases though. Oh look at that. Alright, make them I like that man. That'd be neat in your garage. It'll set the mood. Yeah, I got one. I never win those boxes. I do like the old stein. Uh, I remember Kmart's. Coming up to the end. Pretty cool. Right, right by the stadium. And I don't know. But we are at the end. This is the end. You got some cool stuff though. Yeah. But no home runs. Alright. Made it back from the Meadowlands. Just uh, try it out. Change of pace. Uh, I don't want you people to get too sick of the same four or five places I go to, even though, you know, it's winter time. So my options are limited here. Uh, that's why I've been hitting a little more estate sales, too, just to uh, keep it fresh. But uh, it is what it is. It was OK. It was uh, I thought there'd be more vendors because it's a relatively mild day. But then again, it's a parking lot 
and the wind was whipping through us like we weren't even there. But uh, managed to score a couple, couple things here. Fancy pants, la jose, grill pan. A little bit of wear and tear, but as long as nothing is chipped or scratched, those are those are an easy sell and uh, still cast iron. So this is a deep chicken fryer, marked Wagner, with some permanent packing paper apparently. Another grill pan. This one's the newer-ish one from 1991 to uh, 1996, the Wagner Centennial. Bought some plates. Nothing super old, but these tend to be very pricey. And uh, these are neat. I don't know if I'm going to sell these or I might give them to one of my best friends. His nephew collects them. So that might just be a, a gift as a kindness in my heart this thing little one pint pour man i i just you know rusty that's what i do man i love trying to fix things up and find a new home make a few dollars and that really do i need that no does it scream 1950s patina yes so I'll probably clean that up and uh, bring it to one of my shows or even uh, Brimfield I'm thinking about doing. So we'll see. Got a stack of restorations going at the same time. Always doing something. But um, thanks for coming along. Feel free to like and subscribe and all that fun stuff if you're enjoying any of my uh, videos. And as always, this is Cast Iron Kev, and I think we could all do better.